buddy. That's good stuff. All right. So um, what we are going to do, there's a video that we did not get to see. It's a two minute video. We did not get to see that video over at Maestro. Um, while people were coming on, you know, I didn't want to play a second video because, you know, if you come on and you're not on the social webinar and you, and, you know, you don't know what's going on, your mic's muted. It can be rather frustrating. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to screen share in just a second and going to play this video for you all. Now, if you have your computer audio, everyone should have their computer audio on because you are listening to us talk. So your computer audio should be on, right? That's a fair assumption. So what's going to happen, I'm going to screen share. And when I do so, the box that comes up when you screen share in the bottom left corner, this is important if, if when you're ever um, doing a Zoom call, if you want to screen share and, and play a video, the bottom left corner, it says share computer sound. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. You can't see that right now on my screen. And so I'm going to click screen share. So you can see my screen. And I'm going to play this video right here. It's going to come up. And you're going to hear the sound out of your computer. So I'm going to turn my volume down so you don't hear an echo. And everybody else should be muted. So, Ellen, would you help me with just uh, muting everybody, please, and thank you? And, and would you do full screen with the video? Thank you. I'm going to do that. You got it. Always. But, Ellen, if you could, thank you. Is your workplace starting to use Zoom for online meetings? I'm Jessica from techboomers.com, and in this video, I'll show you how to register for a Zoom account. Now let's get started. To begin, go to zoom.us in your browser. Then click the Sign Up button in the top right corner. Now you can register with your work email address or with a Facebook or Google account. If you're only using Zoom for work, we'd recommend signing up with your email address. Click Sign Up. Zoom will then send you an email with an account confirmation link. Find the email in your inbox, then click Activate Account. To finish creating your account, type in your first name, last name, and a password into the designated text boxes. Make sure your password meets the required parameters, including at least eight characters, at least one letter, at least one number, and including both upper and lowercase characters. Passwords also cannot contain consecutive characters like 1234 or ABCD. When you're finished, click Continue. Next, you can invite your colleagues to sign up for Zoom by entering their email addresses. Or click Skip this step and you can send them this tutorial video instead. Now you're all set to start hosting your first meeting. Click Start Meeting Now to begin a meeting in your personal meeting room. From there, you can click Invite at the bottom to send invites to your colleagues through email, or use the Copy URL function to easily send them the meeting room link on your workplace's instant messaging system instead. That's all it takes to sign up for Zoom video conferencing. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel. We Mute. All right. So that was a quick little tutorial right there. Um, and while we're in video mode, that was a two minute video. I have a follow up one minute video on how to schedule a meeting. But before we get to that one, does anyone have any questions? Um, if you do, you can just go ahead and raise your hand. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah, Gerald Spencer and Ellen Schwartz and Mary, Jenny, and uh, uh, Judy. Uh, Judy. I, Judy. I think these are all people that put up their hands for something else. So we need to get rid of those. I'll clear them. OK, if anybody has a question, please raise your hand. So I would like to speak anyway about so there's this annoying right hand uh, little windows with people's faces in it when I'm trying to watch the screen which is being shared. So you might want to explain to people how to minimize. You want to minimize that 
column of people's videos, uh, oh, you windows saw that? on the right. You I'm saw just that? suggesting. I know how to do it, but I don't know if everybody else does. Cheryl, are you talking about shifting over to speaker view so that you see only one person instead of multiple people? I'm talking about when the screen is being shared by somebody, the window goes on my little laptop goes over to the right hand side. And then uh, maybe I can see two people, but kind of cover up those windows cover up some of the screen that's being shared. You can move them. Yeah, you can uh, minimize. Is it, there's a, uh, I there's minimize. A, that's what I wanted people to understand. They can minimize. And that's that little bar thing on the left. Correct. Right. That's all I wanted to make sure people understood. It, I, it was a while before I understood that. Uh, Thank you, because I did not know that. So you can slide the bar to make the window that's got the people in it smaller or larger yeah, right so that it's not covering up as much what's on the screen not as much there's always you can always see some something thank you i hope everybody's found that any other questions i'm done yes louise i raised my hand electronically but um i don't understand you had you had to put in enter the emails of it said colleagues but you set up all different meetings and that that's a way to do it. I wouldn't recommend doing it like that. That's like, you know, if, if, if you um, are setting up a zoom and you're the, the conference calls up and you're inviting people in real time, I wouldn't recommend doing it like that. The way Ellen, for example, did it, she took the link to the actual meeting and sent that out um that's a good way to do it and also what we're about to show is a one minute video uh louise on how to schedule a meeting that way what you can do is you can send the link out ahead of time let people have it and when the time comes they can go ahead click on that link you know and then they can join the meeting that's a much better way to do it jane doyle is is uh has her hand up and ellen schwartz also jane you want to unmute? I mean, Joan, excuse me. Okay, I think I've got it. Um, the There are two things now. One is that when people are saying where to find items on the screen, I don't seem to be having them. For example, somebody just said over on the left where you can make the strip of pictures smaller. I didn't see anything. I've got a lot of stuff up here and I'm not sure what is overlapping other things that you guys are sending, but um, I don't see anything for making the screen smaller or larger. Hold, hold on one second and I will try to show you. So uh, let's see. Okay. Interestingly, if I take a screenshot, it goes away. So on the very top, I tried to take a screenshot, but it went away. So on the top of, because the Zoom stuff I, doesn't show up on the screen share. They make it so it's almost uh, invisible, so it doesn't get in the way of the person right. sharing. What you should see on the box, there should be several boxes. There's one that looks like the Brady Bunch. It's like, you know, um, nine little squares. And then one, it looks like an equal sign. And then one's a little rectangle. And then one's like a, a, a narrower rectangle. The narrower rectangle minimizes the whole box and you won't even see one person's um, face. The, uh, the small rectangle, you see just one person. The equal sign, you'll see a strip. And then the Brady Bunch box, you'll see about six people. And then there'll be a little arrow on the bottom right of that box. That arrow will allow you to scroll over and see the various faces as I'm doing right now of all you wonderful people on the call. And then you can scroll back and see the faces again. So the okay, arrow- Okay, Michael, Michael, yes. um, I, I have on other calls seen those squares of different sizes down below the major screen 
right now I don't seem to have them. I can work on that um, another time, um, unless we're going to need it for this. Um, I've got a, a rectangular square. I have a square square with a white square in the middle of it, and now I have nothing. Right. <laughs> Just well, right no, now. No, there's, I've got three people over on the left, four people. Um, so what do I do now that the screen has gone to nobody, um, or I shouldn't say nobody. In other words, I don't have the regular screen where a document or a person speaking would be shown. All I have is that strip now on the right that so led to this conversation. On the bottom of the screen, it's like the taskbar. You should see it's like a blue icon with a white camera. That's the Zoom kind of uh, interface. Click the Zoom interface and it should pop up. Okay, that is not there at the moment. Um, when I get down far enough, I get um, a bar that has participants, chat, share screen, record, and reactions. What's and then in the far right, leave which I'm not going to pay attention to. So I want to be here. Um, but there's nothing, there's no blue and white with a, a video camera. Um, there is, there's one over on the far left, which I think would be the video of me. Okay, All now right. you've given okay, me so, more things. All right, so watch for a second. Yep. So I just took a snapshot. This is my taskbar, okay? Right, this okay. right here, I'm gonna draw. So this right here, that's the Zoom icon. And I have never seen that on my screen when I've okay. been on a Zoom call ever. So and I've been on a lot of them. So here's the thing. This is why you might have a lot of things running and there might be an arrow. So let me let me let me open up some stuff and show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, if I if I open up um, oh gosh, let me open up something else. Let me open up some things and try to get an arrow. Um, hold on one second. I'm going to try to keep opening things. Open a bunch of browser windows. You don't have to open a million apps. What's your point, Michael, while you're doing that? Well, because she might have a lot of things open. But no. No, I don't. I had the only thing I had open was um, the Maestro call and now this. You don't I mean, I had my arrow? email to get to the maestro, but those are closed now. Do you have Do you have the screen open all the way? Um, I don't have it enlarged all the way, and right now it says I am viewing Michael's screen with a lot of options. I don't have it large, no. Um, okay. Partly because when I do that, sometimes it's hard to get to the bottom to make it small or the top to make Can it you, smaller. Yeah, you don't want to open it all the way, but you might want to open it wider. Yeah. I'm trying to see the, okay, I don't see the arrow for doing that. No, Let's you just not, take the okay. edge, you just take the edge of the program and you open the window wider. Right, and it's, it's not letting me do that. I tried that one. Uh, you may be trying snaps. to do it on on Michael's screen rather than on on the Zoom. Screen. That might be. Yeah. I may try to do it here on Ellen Thompson's picture. No, that didn't. No, do it you want to go to the left of so, my picture. <laughs> so to the left of your picture. Okay. Uh, no, I don't. There should be an no, edge. No. There should be an edge, no. and you pull the edge out. No, I know how to do that on other things. It's just not, I'm not finding an it. My arrow is not going to the bar with, that you can use to pull. It's just not showing up. Okay, I won't worry about that right now. There's more important things. Maybe I'll get help later. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What about so, the view options at the top where you can exit full screen? I always exit full screen. Tell her about the view options. Okay. Yeah, the little black box next to the long green box on the top of the screen. If you click on the arrow there, it gives you the option of, of uh, going. And I don't have either of those either. So um, let's just go on with other. Now I have totally nothing. Ha have, you, have, you, have, you, have you signed into Zoom yet? Hey, Ellen, can you 
Hold on one second. Because my daughter had that problem on a new laptop, and she realized that she hadn't gone through the process of. No, this that. is this is the only computer I use, and I've I am subscribed to Zoom, so that's who knows. Ellen, my camera, my, now is, I see Zoom meeting, but that won't open either. Is this this is Jane Doyle talking right now? It is. Okay, so Jane, here's what we're gonna do real quick. I'm gonna play another video. While I'm playing, it's a one-minute video, and we're going to show how to schedule a meeting. While I'm doing that, work on resizing your window. If you maximize your window, you might see it. Um, and it, it, I also could maybe um, set up a call with you individually, and we could work on it one-on-one. -on -one. But we're just going to keep rolling for a second, okay? So I'm going to mute you. And uh, I, want, I know that a lot of people are actually sending in questions via the chat. Sorry that we haven't got to those. I'm going to look through the chat right now. Actually, you know what? I'm going to play the video. I can't actually. I have to look at the chat right now. So let's see. Um, Emily shouldn't be hearing an echo anymore, right? No more echo. Um, now let's see. Hold on one second. He's talking. Uh, okay. Free accounts. Do people know how to get to the chat? Okay, someone said, Judy said, free accounts only allow for a 40-minute call on Zoom. I don't believe that that's true. If someone yes. else has that information. You know, yes, it is. It is true. 40 minutes? Yeah. 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 And a limit of 50 people, I, I think it no, is. No, 100. Yeah. No, a hundred. No, it's 50 people, I think, if it's a free account. Are you sure it's a 40-minute recording? Is, is it 100? It, it's okay. documented on their site, anyway. Okay. I'm well, sorry. He, Ellen, you know what that flies in the face of that is we've been on this call for, you know, like Ellen and I started a Zoom call at like seven thirty. It's the same call that we're on right now. It's two hours. Yeah, but I have an account. Ah, uh, Ellen Page. She's a paid member. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. My apologies. Thank you. All right. I always deal with paid accounts, so my apologies. So free accounts, 40 minutes. There you go. My apologies. All right. Does an account mean you just have to join meetings or does it mean you can host meetings? Um, if you have an account, you can actually host meetings as well. Um, so that's good. Um, you can host meetings. Okay. So someone responded to that. Great. Um, did, um, I don't know if you all saw that someone responded. It was me. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, yes, that is very true. Ellen Swartz wrote to everyone. That video was, Zoom was made really for business folk. Uh, Maestro was more of a platform and still is for people who are interested in social justice stuff. So actually right now, for example, if you go on Maestro and you're interested in the video platform, if you are interested in like the work that we do, they have a bunch of boxes for you to check. And they'll give you like accounts at a severely uh, diminished rate because they, Maestro's predicated upon organizing activism. But anyway, uh, let's see here. Uh, Cheryl, exit full screen, okay. Janice, yes, okay. And then I just wanted to make sure we had anybody else. May I may I say something here? Go I'm ahead. going to I'm going to put into the chat box the link to a YouTube. Uh, I'm listening to it. I'm sorry. Um, a YouTube uh, recording that I did of Mary Beth Gardam and myself being trained on how to be a host on Zoom by a professional Zoomster. So if you would like, if you would like to um, watch that, I think you'll get the answers that you need on how to do that. And there's a lot of information in there. Okay. How long is it? It's an hour. Oh. All right. So oh. I am going to start screen sharing again. Um, and I'm going to show this video right here. So hold on. Actually, one second. I just want to make sure I had the setting done. I did. All right. So this is a one minute video and it's going to show how to schedule a Zoom uh, meet, a meeting. So if you want to have this meeting scheduled, send the link out in advance. This is how to do it. All right, so here we go. And then we have some more advanced tools we're just going to present right after this. So hold on one sec, here goes.
Today we'll be going over how quick and easy it is to schedule a Zoom meeting on the web portal. After you log into your Zoom account, select the Meetings tab and schedule a new meeting. Here you can decide on the topic, date and time, and if the meeting needs to be reoccurring. Meeting passwords are enabled by default. You can also customize the password itself. You may disable this option as needed. You can also customize the audio and video and have additional meeting options like join before host, waiting room is automatically enabled, and use features like authenticated users. After you have scheduled the meeting, select save. And here you'll have the ability to add the meeting to your calendars like Google, Outlook, or Yahoo. You may also copy the invitation and paste it to your preferred platform. If you have any questions on scheduling a meeting, please contact us at zoom.us. Thank you. All right. So anyone have any questions about that before we move on? I'll stop the screen share. If you want to raise your hand if you have any questions. Um, my hand's been up for a while. Go ahead, Ellen. Somebody put it down. Well, um, there were some people who were unfamiliar. I mean, they know how to get on a Zoom meeting. Everybody's here. But the participants controls, and it seems to me, before we leap into hosting meetings, you might just want, you know, like, well, what happened to Cricket actually with the screen sharing that you were doing at that time, I didn't see any usual controls. Any um, I'm sorry, you cut out. For handling the, the, I'm sorry. Um, I, had, I had the same problem as Cricket, and I consider myself a Zoom expert, but the usual controls about panelists was missing. I finally managed to make everything vanish, and then it all came back, and it was normal, but was interesting for a while there. But, you know, assuming in a normal behavior, maybe we should take people around and make sure everybody knows how to raise their hand. Um, if this account is set up to be able to do polls, um, what it means to do a poll rather than voting by raising your hand. Um, um, there's also the yes, no function, which is something you can do for a simple, simple vote other than by raise your hand. Um, also, the audio controls, I think, are useful for people to know about. And some of the video, you know, the, the video controls down at the bottom that people might never see. How to use the chat and how to use the participant panel. <laughs> Darian, you wanted to speak? You wanted to ask a question or say something? Uh, thank you. I. I want to, at this point, second what Ellen said. I think it would be really helpful for us to go over the basic controls for participants. And then I hope, Michael, that we can talk about some of the settings. But starting with participants, as Ellen said, I don't see the screen that you were telling Jane about. And I don't think I've ever seen that screen. What I see is very different. So that's one of the big challenges of Zoom, that different people will be seeing different screens depending on how they got into the meeting and what medium they're using. I'm on a laptop. It's a Macintosh. I get the impression that's different from what people see on Androids, on Androids, on tablets, or on their phones. And that's all right. We don't need to emphasize that, but we can tell people to, how to do the things Ellen just described. That would be really helpful. Yeah, so exactly. So on, if you go on in this view, if you maximize your zoom window. Now you're not gonna if you don't touch the cursor, you won't see anything at the bottom, it'll disappear. But if you have a mouse and you touch and you um, scroll your cursor down, you should see it'll say uh, various things in the bottom of your screen, like participants chat, and you'll see different things on the very bottom of your screen that you can do. And you'll be able to do things when you if say you click chat, you go over to your name and you'll be able to do things like 
you know, raise your hand or give like a thumbs up or a reaction, things like that. And if you're, That's under participants, not no, in no, the well, chat. Right. But in the chat where it says more and they move over, there's some other things that they can do as well. Does everybody see that? No. Uh, you're mixing ahead, things Ellen. up here, Michael. Explain. Go ahead. If you want to explain it. I think we should go through them one by one. Uh, so we went into participants earlier and we saw that we could raise our hand. Um, you can also mute yourself. And if you click on more, if you hover over your name and you, and you click on more, um, you will see it's different for you from, than it is for me because I'm the host and so I've got more on my screen. Does somebody want to tell, Tina, how about you telling us what you've got on your participant well, my screen? My participant screen? Uh -huh. um, so I have the gallery view so I can see everybody's. Um, if I click on the participant screen, I seem to see the chat. Um, is that what you mean? No, down at the bottom, there sh it should be a participant. So I just see a bar and the bar. participants, it tells me that there's 18 and the next to that is the chat box. So if I'm not seeing the chat box. If you click, if you click on participants that says 18, then you'll open up a participants box. That. And that list, that lists who is there, okay. who is here on the call. Um, and e each of us, oh. it, you can tell whether the, the microphone is open or closed okay. and whether the oh, video turn that is light off. off. What? <laughs> what? Sorry. My I'm going to mute you. Somebody. Okay. And I just muted Michael <laughs> by um, clicking on his microphone. So, and he just unmuted Yes, himself. sorry about that. Julie came home and... All right, well, we don't need to hear that. Let's just, let's just continue here. And um, let's see, then you can signal versus, you can say yes or no. Yes, click on yes. And I, it, I guess that's in, in response to a, 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 yeah. a poll. I so think I think are. that's on the, the participant screen, yes. And then at the bottom, there's also a little thing that says reactions and that's where you would get to the hand clap or the thumbs up. Let's do the right. reactions after we make sure that everybody knows how to open the participant dialog or menu. Is Does everybody, everybody the participant see? box open? Does anybody not have the participants box open? If so, please um, click, uh, raise your hand vi visually so I, we can see. Uh, uh, Ellen, I don't know if you can hear me. I'm raising my hand not because I can't open the participants box, but because my participants box is different from yours. As I was saying, people see different things. In my participants box, there's no option for reactions. That's a separate menu item outside of the participants box. Yeah, and for the rest of us, Darian. But what do you see in your participant box on your um, Mac laptop? So we've got raise hand, yes, no, go slower, go faster, and then more lets you do reactions, as well as the ever popular cup of tea, which means I'm out of here for a while, I just can't take it. And then the, a clock, and does anyone know what the clock means under more? I certainly don't, it says, um, away. 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 So there are some exciting options to allow you to express your frustrations. You can always have a cup of tea. So it's a lot like ours, except for the, I think that this, this, this whole array of, of options at the bottom is very pornographic and yes, no, go slow down. Pornographic. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's go over to the chat box if we no, could. No, but you know. <laughs> let's go over to the chat box. Is, um, um, wait, was before I... we leave the participants, there are things you can do. This is not only where you can raise your hand, and on some platforms, when you raise your hand, then where it says raise hand at the bottom, it says lower hand. 
But on other platforms, it continues to say raise hand. It's just, it's a toggle and you click raise hand a second time and your hand unraises. The host or co-hosts can lower your hand for you and or can lower everybody's hand at once in a giant sweep. And then you can do other things like start and stop your, your video camera or your microphone and the host cannot raise her hand. It's true. What's this thing that says invite? Below all that, there's an invite. Who am I inviting? Well, you can have, con I think if you have contact. Shall I hit it? I think that's a business thing. I never use it. Um, it may be people that are part of your account. Yeah. So I don't know. But you can click on email and you can email an invitation to people. Yeah, right. Inside the, inside the, uh, the application. Right. You're already in there. You've decided you want to email somebody to bring them in. Right. Okay. So everybody good on there's various things you can do in the participant list. ET, take us to the something else. Chat, maybe. Okay. Well, let's go to the chat then. And that's under more that's and under, my it, screen. It depends on how skinny you have your screen. Yeah. I have a skinny screen, so more. It's on the bottom. I'm open up wide, so I see it uh, after participants. But it's it, anything that you expect to see at the bottom, if you don't see it, then go to the more, the three dots more, more. and look there because it'll, it probably is tucked away in there. Right. And then you have a, a list above it that and I could see chat. So I click chat on that little list. And there it comes up on the right hand side. Good. So if next to the where it says two, you click on that little gray box, the there's an arrow and it will list everyone in meeting or and also it will list every individual name in the meeting. Um, unfortunately, you can't save that. Fortunately, I suppose for, for uh, some people, but um, you have to, if you want to know who's in the meeting, who was in the meeting, you got to write it down yourself. Um, but you well, can, so you can send private chat as private messages to individuals, or if you click on the everyone in meeting, then um, I'm going to do that right now with a test, and you can see that I just sent a message out to everybody. So why doesn't everybody, anybody who doesn't know hasn't done chat before, why don't you send us a, a message, at least your name or something? Make sure you send it. To, now you type your message in, but it doesn't show up until you hit the enter button on your keyboard. I don't see anybody yet. So I guess everybody knows how to do chat. Well, no one has sent a message here. Yeah, everybody, everybody type in your name, would you? Then I can keep, keep a list of who was, who was okay. on here. Great. I'm not seeing everybody. Oops. Cricket. Robert. Are you lost? Yeah. Have you, have you put your name into the chat box? No, I have not. I'm sorry. I shall do that. So I've got Darian, Michael, Portia, Emily, Cheryl, Lucy, Tina, Ellen, Schwartz, Janice. Is there anybody that is here that hasn't hey. done it? No. Um, I have not done it because Darian and I just exchanged a message and I cannot get my little blue box to drop her name and okay now I can send it to everyone finally um, let me just type my name here okay Rich. 
Enter. There you are. I'm okay. deciding whether or not to put my last name on. That's anyway. okay. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing you need to know is down at the bottom of the chat box, there are three little buttons. They are right. practically invisible. Yeah. They're right on, this, on the two line. And you can save this chat onto your computer, and where it will go is into your documents file. Somewhere. Uh, it will open up a Zoom directory and everything that you ever save for Zoom from, from a Zoom call will go into that spot on your computer on the C drive. It's all automatic. Zoom does that automatically for you the first time you save a chat. And the way that you save the chat is you click on the three buttons and then you click on save chat and it happens automatically. Now, the host might have disabled the ability of participants to save the chat, in which case you won't see it. But you can ask them to, uh, to open it up. Ken, is that um, something that I can have be a done question. on the flight? I don't know. I think so. I, maybe not. Take a look in your security thing and see if that's one of the things you can Question? Say. Yeah, I have one. Okay. Um, what I'm trying to figure out is where you said it will go. If you save the chat, where does it go? It goes, Does it go into the download? It, yeah, it downloads into your, um, on your C drive, there should be a documents directory. Okay, all right. And then it, Zoom will automatically open up a, a Zoom directory. Mm -hmm. And within that directory, they will open up a page that has, that is um, for this particular call, whatever call you're saving. I Date and time, it will identify it by and the date name of the time. call, too, if it's got a name. Yeah, I wish I'd had that for class I took, but now it's useful. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now, there are some other things that you can, if it's enabled, do in the, in the chat. One of the things that they brag about a lot is the ability to share files. Um, but this is used by hackers and trolls a lot to force um, you know, malware on people. So it's really only a good idea if you're hosting a meeting and setting the controls to make sure that the ability of participants to share files is disabled. I have not oh. seen that. Where, where is that? Is that in the settings? It's in the admin. It's in the admin thing on the website in your portal. So yeah, just, you go in there and you do your may, do your settings up front for what happens when you're on a on a Zoom call, right? Regularly. So yeah. If I could just jump in for a sec, um, so there's a couple links in the document that was shared. Um, one of the links is a 10 minute video. We're not going to show it on this call. You're more than welcome to look at it on your own. Um, I will you probably have that document up. It says uh, meeting controls. It actually, it's by, the vid video was made by Zoom and you'll see uh, a lot of the stuff that we just covered is right there in the meeting controls. It explains how to do all the little things that Ellen Swartz was talking about right there. Where uh, is that? Have you hit your enter? So yeah, in the Word I will, document. Uh, Hold on one second. I'm gonna just gonna screen share. In this share. video, Oops. you'll learn how to share content within a Zoom. Pardon me. Hold on one second. So I'm gonna screen share real fast, and uh, so I just want to show real fast. Um, so this video, meeting controls, the one I'm gonna highlight. So this video goes through a lot of all the different um, basic, um, like essentially what it says, the controls and also managing participants for those who are gonna host meetings. So it does cover a lot about those ins and outs. Um, like I said, it's a 10 minute video. We're not gonna show it on this call. I also wanna show, see this next little section um, about extra information, not required, but it's a little extra. I just wanna show you what that links to. Okay, so if you go, hold on one second, that will link to right here. Okay, so hold on a second. This is the uh, Zoom 
YouTube and you will see like see all these different videos from the first one we showed today on Zoom 101 to joining a meeting all the way down meeting controls joining and configuring audio and video all of these things are like the how to with Zoom and it gets more and more advanced you don't necessarily have to you know know all this stuff but you know the mm -hmm. Just to post a basic call, I did want to show you all this because if you want to dive deep into the functionality of Zoom, here's how you'd get there. And just to show you, if you wanted to actually navigate to this page, what you would do is you go to the, the Zoom. This is the Zoom YouTube account. And wherever so you work, what you do is you go to vid you go to playlists. Zoom and then right video. here it says full <laughs> playlist how to how to zoom so that's the playlist and so when you click full playlist that brings you here to how to zoom in all of these different videos but the link i shared gets you right here without you having to navigate through youtube so i thought that would be helpful i wanted to share that before we lost other people on the call because we have lost you know we have lost some people on this call so um, did want to let people know about that. Now, we were going to also talk about free conference call technology. Um, I'll pause and see if people are, who are on the call are interested in that. Because um, I know it's been now coming up on an hour and a half on the call. And we did have a few people who typed in the chat. So um, I'll yield for now. And if anyone has anything they'd like to chime in, questions or uh, thoughts, by all means floor is yours that's okay so, so um, just, yeah uh, may i ask a question how did you get to the zoom account to get that tutorial that's on the i know how to get to the tutorial where's the actual account do i google zoom yeah so that's it's like you go to youtube and like you go to the well i i gave you the link so i mean the link yeah, the link is in the document I sent you. It's in right. the chat also. If I didn't but, but have if, that. But if you didn't have that, uh, I'll show you real quick. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just do it. Hold on one second. You can look up how to Zoom. Well, yeah, so I, I was just you, That's all I need. I'm good. Yeah, so, but, yeah, so if you went to, like, you know, um, how to uh, sign up for Zoom, for example. I'm good. But, but here's, the, but this is, there's something instructional here that you see, oh, I want to hear it. Yeah. You, see, you see these videos? Okay, yeah. so this one's uploaded by Tech Boomers. I grabbed that video because I really liked it. But look at the one underneath that said uploaded by Zoom. So I'm looking at what, um, who uploaded the videos. The one underneath that also uploaded by Zoom. So if I click on the video that's uploaded by Zoom, brings me to this video by Zoom. So now what I do is I go to right here this is this this it this right here where it says zoom oh what uh that's the youtube account holder so i click the youtube account holder which is zoom the official zoom pause that right and now this is the this is the the zoom youtube page okay so now I'm at the Zoom YouTube page and I can click videos and this shows every single video that Zoom ever uploaded. Not too helpful because it's just everything. So I click playlists. And when I click playlists now, and by the way, you can do this. This is instructional for any type of YouTube information on anything, but then you can go and click full uh, view full playlist. And then you click that and you wanted the, the, the playlist on how to zoom and there you have it that's yeah, the full I, I got that part yeah, yeah no but it, you know the whole process it was a good question because how to actually navigate to that you know not that's a good thing to do so i'm going to stop sharing right now we lost a couple other people so now we're down to 14 and um so would folks i i just, Darren? I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who came if there was something you were hoping for from this training that you haven't gotten, please use this time to speak up. Michael's here to answer your questions. Also typing into the chat. 
it may be the kind of question that can be answered later. I see Cheryl has her finger up. I have to go to another meeting. So Michael, I hope you'll call on Cheryl and other people uh, as they put their hands up in the chat or, or not in the chat, I'm sorry, in participants or by raising their hand as Cheryl did. Mm -hmm. And uh, shortly I'm gonna hop out of here I see no one has their hand up in participants, so great. Thank you, Cheryl, and thank you, Michael and Ellen Thomas, very much. A pleasure. Thank you, Ellen. And uh, if, for those of you who, anyone on the call, if you'd like to learn how to use free conference call, it's actually super simple because all you have to do, and I'll just screen share again real fast. This is going to be, I'm not going to show a video on this. I'm just going to show you. So if you go to free conference call let's go to free conference call right .com. um yeah so here it's going to pull up right here free conference call.com um here oops let me go hold on one second i'm so sorry just not profile just free conference call.com and it brought me back to profile so hold on one second you know what i'm going to do i'm going to open that up in a private window because that's what you have to do sometimes to uh, hold on a sec, so sorry. All right, so I'm gonna sign up again with another email that I have just to show you all how to do that. So just give me one second, private window. All right, so this is freeconferencecall.com. How you sign up is as follows. You just go like info at teamgood.org, right? Type in your email, put in a password, and then watch what happens. Boom, that's it. You have a dial-in number right there. That's always your dial-in number. Uh, I'm gonna close this right now because there's a lot to this platform and we're just gonna keep it really simple. But there's your dial-in number and there's your access code. So now you see the host pin, that's just really for you, not for others. So, you, so here's, see this access code right here that I'm highlighting? So what would happen is you would send an email to your branch members with the phone number and the access code. And you'd let them know, you know, on Saturday at 4 PM, call that number and put in your access code, press pound. Right. Now, what you would do is you'd get on the call at say 350 and you'd be prepared ahead of time. And then you'd be there to welcome people as they come on. That's all it is. Now you can schedule calls and you can do a lot of extra things. You can even video conference with free conference call. You can do all kinds of stuff. We won't get into that because if, you know, if you want to uh, video conference and all this stuff, you know, if you want to do that, contact me, you know, I'll, I'll help you with that on video con on a free conference call. But if you just want to do a conference call, that's all you have to do. Put in your email, put in a, 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 pa a password, remember your password, maybe you want to write it down. And then you have a phone number and an access code. And whenever you want, you can just go right ahead and set up a conference call. So I wanted to just show you all that before this training is over. That brings us right to 90 minutes. That is the duration that we said. I'll be happy to stay on for anyone who would like to. And thank you all for being here. And, um, yeah, I'm here. I'll, I'll hang in if anyone, but if you want to go, if you want to say goodbye, you're more than welcome to now. And thank you for being here. Check. Craig has her hand raised and thank Portia you. has her is, are you waving goodbye, Portia? Well, thank you for joining us. Bye, Portia. Uh, I have a question. Thank you. Two thank questions. You. Hold on one second. Show. Bye, bye, Robert. If you Lucy want to say goodbye, go ahead. You can say goodbye first. Thank you. Thank you very much, buddy. It's a pleasure, Robert. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Yep. All right, Cheryl, go right ahead. Right. So Lucy had the same question, but I don't. Maybe she's gone. So I thought I would like to know. Uh, a host started a meeting. I'm in the meeting. The host needs to go. I need to co-host. I need to host. How does a host pass the hosting to somebody else already in the meeting? Um, you go in, that's, a, that's why I came to this meeting to you find go out. Into the, you go into the participants 
Yes. And you hover over whoever it is that you want to be a co-host. Yes. And I will I will do it for you and then you can see you can do it for somebody else here just a minute. You hover and then what do you do? All right, I just I just made you a co-host. So now um So you I'm gonna go over me and I'm gonna hover and I hit more. And no. show that you're a host, a co-host. Yeah, I know. I see I'm a host. Now I want to find, right. I want to you give somebody it. else. Now you I don't think the co-host can do that. Yeah, you have to, you have to give her a host you have privilege. You give her host privileges. Oh, okay. Well, all right. I'll give you host privileges and then you can give them back to me. <laughs> I'm losing. You can take privileges. them back too, I think, uh, E.T. Uh, you can make me a co-host then after I do, after I give it. I'm still to a co-host. I haven't changed yet. Okay. So now you're the host. Now I'm now the host. Now. So I, I hover, then I go to more. Go to more. Oh, you hover, yeah, you hover over me and go to more and make me a co-host or make me. I, it doesn't, all I have is rename under my more. No, not, but not yours. Go to Ellen's. Okay, then I go over Ellen, uh, Ellen Thomas. I hover over her, Go and I hit more. more, Yeah, and it says make host, Yes, I'll give you, and then there's allow record, all these other things, in the yeah. waiting, amazing number of things you could host, all right, so I, I want to ask me, do you want to change the host to Ellen Thomas, a nice polite window comes up, and I say yes. Okay, anybody else okay, want so to try? I'm no Anybody else want to try? I'll, uh, I'll hand it over. To oh, well, just I'd to, like to try. Just, just like to quick, to sure. While you all are doing that, note something. If we're going to make everybody a co-host, for example, the bottom left, will you'll get a security, um, a security shield, and you'll be able to do different things with that. You'll be able to remove participants. Um, you'll be able to allow or disallow screen sharing, chatting, renaming, unmuting, you know, some calls actually, like Black Lives Matter, for example, you know, some of them, they'll like have all the settings off and they'll just be the presentation, you know? Um, so, you know, that's how you do it right there with the, in the security features. Okay? You don't have to call it a webinar because I, I've been to webinars where I was on one this morning where I couldn't see anybody except the speakers. Did actually, they do that? through the settings or did they do that by paying more money for a webinar? Yeah, so Cheryl, if you go into the advanced videos for um, Zoom, they actually have a whole thing on just webinars and you can sign up for like webinars. I was, you know, um, I was actually, I was really interested with how they do that uh, as I was preparing for this training because I haven't done a webinar on Zoom yet, but they actually do, you can sign up and you can have different tracks that you sign up for and you can do a whole conference on zoom like just like you'd go to a conference with different like rooms and breakouts and everything they have that feature to do an actual webinar on the platform which is different than a conference call and uh while yeah, i'm saying that eileen did you get the host feature did you did you get a chance to host yeah, eileen? your host now eileen okay so now i can hover on it over your name. You go, you, you hover over your name and you'll see that you're a host or go to more and, and you, and you'll see uh, that you're a host. It's not working. I, I, with your mouse, with your cursor. I'm doing with the cursor and I am not a host by doing what you just said. No, no. you click on more. Ah, okay. No, what comes up is a window, mute my audio, stop video, pin video, spotlight, Rename, hide self. You know, I have an Apple um, laptop here. No, it shouldn't affect you. Eileen, hover over somebody else. Hover over me. I'm just a regular person here. <laughs> I'm hovering over <laughs> you, knows. Helen. And it says mute, stop video chat, pin video. <laughs> oh, make co host. Ah. So I really don't know um, if I'm a host or not, unless someone has told me. No, you can see it. You should be able to see it. It's right next to your name. It says host. 
on the participants list. Yeah. On the participants list. Oh, on the participants list. It's not on the does chat. On the, does not on the window. Let me do no, the participants no. list. Yeah. Uh, where am I? Oh, look at that. Yes, I've got the host. Uh, so if you, if you hover, if you hover over me, my name. Ellen? Yeah. You and don't have it. No, I don't. And I need you to give it back to me. <laughs> <laughs> you can take it away. Oh, too bad. How much is it worth to you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, let me tell you, you can take it back. At the bottom of the participant list, there should be a thing that says, um, reclaim host. All right. I just reclaimed it. Okay. <laughs> no. Thank you. <laughs> I learned that. I, I thought day. I did that. <laughs> Good to oh, know. wow. Yeah, <laughs> this is. I fun. have a question. You know, yeah. I have a question about the free conference call, Michael. Yeah. They choose the number to give you, right? You ask to make a call sometime in the future, or and then they give you the phone call, the phone number. You don't have to choose a phone number. No, you don't. You don't choose it. However, there is if you pay extra, and you can pay as little as four dollars a month. Um, you can set your number, which you can change it a little bit, but you can set it to be one number for all your calls if you'd like. Otherwise, it's kind of random. I mean, exactly. All right, and the, and the pass. Uh, what was the second thing? The and access the pass, code. Access. The code. access code will also change. The access code. I mean, no. Once you get an account, your access code, your access code, your numbers, your number. But you can pick different numbers if you want. You know. Um, like every single call is not going to have a different number. You're going to have under your account, you're going to have your number, your access code, and then you're going to have your host ID. So when you come on and you're the host, you have to enter your host ID um, to like unlock the call, so to speak. But if you look into um, the free conference technology, there's a ton that that uh, I was actually, I, you know, because I use Maestro with Interoccupy, you know, I haven't really ever looked at free conference, haven't, excuse me, needed to. I was blown away at how much and how robust it is, especially since COVID, they've worked to really beef it up. It's impressive. It actually is what they have. Um, I mean, I'm not sure how well it works. Never really tried it. Some of the video stuff and things like that, but they have quite a robust platform. I'll say, I'll say that. And they're committed to having everybody use it for little to no money. That's pretty cool. And about, and so if you've just got three of you, then you use it. How many, uh, can you get 10 on it? Oh, gosh, yeah. It says, yeah. Um, here, hold on one second. Let me. Um, but then you have a problem with everybody talking at once, or is there? Yeah, that's pro yeah, because, yeah, you can't mute people. You can't mute people, okay. That's the problem. But if you've only three of you, it shouldn't be a problem. So can it do uh, what Zoom can do with respect to uh, sharing screen and showing movies, videos and stuff? Um, yeah, and actually it has a way to add free um, international numbers for people in other countries. Ooh, wow. You know, here, I'll, I'll, hold on one second. I'll, let me just show like this real fast. I haven't like, I mean, if people are super interested in it, I'll do more homework on it. But here, let me share my screen. This is my back end of my account. So here's, here's what it says about pay what you can. Let me just keep that up for a second. You can just glance at that. This is their mission. So they don't actually charge you. You know, they put a suggested donation kind of thing. We'll pretend to be a prayer group. Yeah. <laughs> You know, so uh, I'm going to scroll down. Okay. So, so see, like they say, like, if you want to keep it free, no worries. The community has you covered. Then, so account upgrades. So here it is, one number. If you get this, get this one thing, get this. Eliminates access codes, right? And then um, this is what you get. It's kind of neat. This is that whole one number thing. And that's just for three ninety five a month. Uh, then you have the international numbers, toll free audio, custom greeting. You know, it's it's interesting. So, so Michael, yeah, can I use my home 
Okay, I, I don't have a, a, a fancy phone at home. It's just a regular phone, so it doesn't take texts. Do you have to use an iPhone for the, uh, a smartphone for this, a cell phone? Any phone number. You can, you can use the old, like, spin dial phones. You yeah. can use any phone you want. Okay. I mean, talk about text there, but I don't do, you, my phone doesn't take texts. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, okay. it doesn't. Yeah. So um, here, I want to show you all something. Um, here, just um, so if you go to the free conference cool call YouTube, one second. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, everybody has a YouTube. Yeah, they, everybody has a YouTube. Um, but you got to see like these are see these are at their own websites. So here, for example, if you go to like oh, this. Where am I? How do they make money? All right, but who cares? Right, yeah, I'm not really interested in that. I, I'm just, by the way, did you see what I just did there? I'll just show you what I just did. If I want to get to their YouTube, I click on the title of the video and then it brings me to the YouTube. I don't know if you all know that, but if you're watching a video that's embedded on a web page, if it's a YouTube video, if you click on the title, like up here on the top, mm -hmm. it brings you to the YouTube. I, I didn't really want to go on their website. I wanted to go to YouTube because I really want to click on this, which is their YouTube account, which I, this is the only- Hi, I'm Dave Erickson. This is him telling you all about how he wants to keep it free and stuff. So now if we go to playlists, it tells you like how to use free conference. So we can go to, for example, right here. And, and now this is the similar page as like um, Zoom. And right. you have how to use video conferencing, you know, online meetings, they have it for mobile apps, you know, um, they have it where it syncs to Outlook, and Google Calendar. Um, there's a broadcast feature, so you can do like radio type stuff. Um, it's pretty interesting. Um, so, you know, and then up, upload your custom greeting. So the, I didn't share all of this because Darian really wanted this meeting uh, this this training to be focused on conference calls and they were kind of leaning or favoring zoom but you know and i didn't want to overwhelm everybody but if you wanted to this is um if someone wanted to dive in and learn more about free conference this is where you would at this site right here and if you want i can send you yeah i'll send this link to everybody as well and i'll stop sharing i'll just okay. so so if if Okay, so if it's a number that's not in my my area code, I'm actually pay my phone provider a, a, some money to make the call. Everybody who calls in is going to be phone, um, depending on their monthly type of pr uh, program, they where their phone company, you may be actually paying for your first for the phone call it's free we're not paying free conference call but we are paying the phone company to dial the 425 number right well the thing is that most yes. no well the thing is that most yeah. no well look i like for example most most calling plans in 2020 have free nationwide calling right um so so like for example like when you dial the free conference call number right you're not incurring a bill on your phone however how they make money because i did look at that video is they um they actually get a small fraction of the funds from the phone company they get a small fraction of those funds when people use their service not from you though um, you don't have to pay them. It's free. So Ellen, you're muted. <laughs> I know I'm muting. I muted. I didn't want to interrupt. It's just I disagree. <laughs> so I can't remember. My my husband's in charge of our phone uh, calling plan, but I, I'm guessing that you're right. It's it's probably all nationwide calls are included in my internet and my yeah. Phone. I mean, back in like the 1990s, people had phone plans. Ellen T Thomas and I were talking about this before the call. I'm sure someone out there hasn't updated their phone plan since the <laughs> 1990s. But like, 
every modern phone plan, you know, long distance is outside the country. You know, everywhere mm -hmm. you call in the country, it's you don't get charged extra for calling, you know, other states, for example. Yeah. So, it, so it won't hurt. I mean, I use Skype to talk to my daughter in Paris. Right. For free. So this, a free conference call wouldn't help her because she's not going to spend the money to call into a U.S. number. That won't, that won't help. She could Skype into it. Well, we do, we Skype. Or she could button. Skype into the conference Skype. call. Well, we, we just Skype in general and that, that seems oh, to Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. But yeah, if she want to join a Wolf call, I'm saying, she could join. No, she won't. Yeah. She probably won't. But anyway, thanks. I understand now. This has all been very helpful. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, thank you. Let's go see what the Republicans are doing. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Hi. Um, good to well, see everyone. Actually, before you go, wait yes. a minute. This is Cricket. Um, I want to share something with everybody, and many of you may know about it. I just learned about it about two weeks ago. If you are not um, signed up with Heather Cox Richardson, she's an, a historian who does an amazing, it's essentially a blog. She writes every night or essentially every night, and about what is going on politically. She's got her fingers in lots of pies. She's very progressive, and um, and then sometimes has links to other things that are useful. But she is wonderful, and write the name down, and if you try it and don't like it, fine. But two different people have told me about her, and I'm so happy, it's Heather. Cox, C-O-X, Richardson. Could, could you type that into and the chat, chat box, Cricket? Sure. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I'm not a very good typist, but I'll try. Okay. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah. that, that sounds pretty interesting. I'm a great fo follower of uh, Amy Goodman. It's my wake up. <laughs> I don't know whether you can her at all. all. Yeah, she doesn't have other, well, I don't know. I've only been watching for a few weeks. She does not have other people on. It's very much about U.S. politics. Um, and I, I don't know if she's part of her wealth, but she should be. You know, she's right in there with us. I want to be huh? Okay. Thanks, Cricket. Uh, bye -bye. I have another question, have another question about very much if you've been made a co-host. No, I have another question. You've been made a co-host. Can the original host leave the meeting and you will carry on the meeting? Yes. You become the host. Well, first of all, I'm a co-host. Does it then, if, if you leave, Ellen, you've made me co-host, you leave the meeting, I suddenly become a full host? Is that how it works? Yes, although I'm recording this, um, this call and um, if I leave, it, the recording oh, will okay. stop but you would become the host. And you have, yeah. on occasion, you've started, you've said anybody can join the meeting ahead of, uh, it's a four o'clock meeting, but you actually have it so I come in at 10 to four and you're not even there, but the meeting can carry on. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's you can, I, I like it that way. You can do it other ways. You can do it so people go into a waiting room or, um, or it, they can't get in there until you open the meeting. But um, I, I like to make it so that if something happens that I don't get there, that the meeting can go forward. So that's all in the options. So when I start, when it says start, uh, was it schedule a meeting? And then I got to fill in a whole bunch of settings. That's where I choose these things, right? right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to walk us through that, Michael? Do you want to? I think. Well, we have a, a, a YouTube video. Like setting, if you want to walk us through. Well, if you watch that video that I gave the link for, that is also on the uh, Will U.S. Disarm That's YouTube hour. channel. Yeah. Um, it's one of the first ones. It's in the second page. Um, that w that goes through all of that stuff very well, so we don't have to right, dwell on it here. Yeah, but that's that's. A so it's all how you set up the meeting is in that, the very yeah. beginning that 
determines how and you can change you know if you if you discover that you don't like the way you have it you can go back into the settings and change them any during the meeting i don't know if you can do it while you're on a call though that was a question that came up a little earlier yeah okay well thank you very much i'm going to take off right. good night Good night. Welcome. Thank you for joining You're us. You're welcome. Bye. Yes. Bye. Bye. All right. Have yep. fun. I will. <laughs> all right. We'll see you later. Bye. Are we all leaving? I think if, if you have any other questions, do you have any? Um, actually, I do, but I think I, I'm giving serious consideration to buying into the Zoom so that um, I could set up calls. And um, but I'm subscribed now on the free line and I'm wondering if I can just switch over or maybe it doesn't matter. Well, I you, you, if I'm you, can, you can set up calls now on the free line. Uh -huh. You can, go, you just, you don't have as much that you can do on it and the calls don't last as long. Um, and the number of people who are on it, I don't know whether it's, they say, Ellen says it's a hundred people. So that's usually more than enough. I don't for, know a hundred you know. people I want to talk to all at the same time. I think okay. I want to keep it to 78. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let me understand if you have a free account which i do and then i decide yeah, to I pony up fifteen dollars a month <clears throat> is it the same name it's my gmail uh, account and I it would be a, the same uh, it would be the same cheryl you would you just, just go, go back in tell zoom you want to pay for it and they'll be happy to switch it to a paid account and there We're is the if you log back in there's an option that says downgrade my account I've got the Zoom Pro, which is the first, you know, cheapo, five, 15, 15 bucks a month. month and there's yeah. an option on there to switch back to be in the free account. Free yeah, account. you can do it month to month, but if you want to, they charge you less money if you do do it for longer stretches of time, of course, they right, give you right. a discount. If you do a year or something. That's yeah, or 14 something. Right. Well, I've just had another trip taken away from me. I was supposed to go to a place called Windsor next week. It's just north of San Francisco for a, a break with my husband and there's a fire 15 miles away in too much air and we couldn't go to the state parks we intended to go because all the state parks are closed. So that's another trip I've had cancelled on me. So I'm not spending much I'm money. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. I can, so I can afford a $15 a month Zoom I think. <laughs> well, I thought when you said Windsor, my my family lives in Ontario, and Windsor is in Ontario, Canada, and right. I thought, oh, they're letting in people from the United States. That's, that's so right. Right. This is Windsor, California. There are a lot of Windsors <laughs> all over the world. Yeah, yeah. Popular uh, name. I don't mean I to down the phone, get to can't see my family for a long time. Right. Yeah. Michael yeah. wants to go. I don't mean to break in, but I actually have a web meeting to go to after this as we're working right. on doing the um, Wilf website on over. So oh, good. I'll be doing that till about three in the morning. Thank so. you, Michael. Yeah. Hi, Michael. You thank you for this. Too. And Ellen, thank you. You're welcome. I'll see you all. You right. get all day on. Well, be well. And, we'll uh, see you and Sunday. Email Sunday me if you want to know more about anything. I'll see you all Sunday on the disarm call. Okay. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye, Michael. And Bye. Ellen Schwartz. Yes. Are you still on? I'm yeah. still on. Um, once, yeah, no, once I sit down to try to do all this again, can I call on you to get, if I'm totally lost? Yes. You said you're, a, you're, a, you're good at this, right? Yes. He knows a lot. We want you to be able to find that little blue icon with the video camera in the middle of it, the white video camera icon yeah. with the blue. I don't know why you can't see it. It's it's there. It's no, it's not. I have one that says, you know, um, down in the lower left corner that says stop video or start video. No, no, no it doesn't. It that. just shows. Yeah, no, that's the only video symbol. Yeah, you need uh, to exit full view. 
Now, when so when you want to go to your um, browser, you have icons at the bottom of your screen, right? You have the icon right. for have Internet those. Explorer or the icon for Firefox or the icon for Chrome. Do you have? Can you right see? Right now, those I'm using on? Chrome and Firefox. Yeah. Right. So there's there's an icon. You should have an icon down in the very bottom of your computer screen. Not on the Zoom screen, no, down, at, down at the bottom of on your screen. Right. Let me oh. try if I can get all the way down there just a minute here. Oh, the screen is moving very slowly. Come on. Down we go. I'm thinking of getting you know, that annual. Can you see those? Can you see? That's and awesome. if you have Word open, maybe you have a little Word icon that's down there no i know exactly what you're talking about and i see the camera which i had never noticed before <laughs> that's that it. says that's zoom it. us yeah that's, that's it. that wasn't there before that's it there because, I'm gonna... that's there because you're you're in zoom now it'll disappear right. when you aren't in it anymore that's okay. that's the one we were trying to bring your attention to so if, if I just, if I want, I go and look at my email, I'm on a boring meeting, I exit full screen, so then I can see my email at the top. I go and look at my email, but I can still listen to you all, or whoever's the boring person. And then if I want to come back and, and, and see you all, uh, then I hit that little icon. Now, the, the thing you need to understand is everybody else can see you unless you've stopped your video. So they can see that you are probably not paying attention if you haven't stopped your video, <laughs> but you're looking at your email. And a lot of them are also not paying attention. <laughs> so that's very, really important that you understand when you, even though you can't see the screen because you're looking at email, everybody else who's yeah. still looking at the Zoom screen right. can see you. Right. Right, so that's when you need to be properly dressed, et cetera, et cetera. I got on an international wilt call one morning and it was like four or five in the morning here. And because um, they, they had us coming from all over the world and I got out of bed and was on the screen in my pajamas. And then I started, I went, so then I turned the video off and put on clothes. You know, it's like, I didn't well, really look that good yet, though I understand the problem. You can, only, you can only see my head. That's because I have a wall behind me and I can't get further away. But it's very useful that, to be set up so people can only see, like Ellen and me, Ellen Schwartz, you can see a little bit of my shoulders and mostly my head. Yeah. You don't know what right. I'm wearing. You can't tell whether you're wearing jammies or not. Half the people on Zoom are, you know, not wearing their... their, their they're in their underpants. Right. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so yeah. it's just, they, they just, they just put it, on their I, jacket to get on the call. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, I they have a very high. large screen for my darkness. photography. Yeah. No, I. My problem is that I have a 27-inch screen because I had that for my photography work, and so the camera is very high, and it's hard to like. I'd have to get way in here. I can't even do it. <laughs> right. it so it's part of your it's part, part of, of your computer. You might you might yeah. want to you might want to invest in a in a one that you can plug in, um, and you can put right. Oh no, I well I have a laptop, but it's pretty old, and I just don't use it. So no, yeah. <laughs> but but cricket. My point is that I got a little um, freestanding um cameras they're very inexpensive that you can plug in to the uh what do you call USB. it the, the usb the usb yeah. port yeah and then like oh. i have one that i've been trying to figure out how to position it and i finally did figure it out this week so that i i don't look like i'm either looking up or looking down you know and so it's close enough that you can't see right, that, right. yeah so I have a camera the, from 10 years ago because computers didn't used to have cameras. So we bought a camera for our desktop uh, eight, nine years ago, but we, we can't find it now. One thing 
that really bothers me. I taught, I've given my profile photo to Zoom, okay, weeks ago. And when I stopped video, I thought like we can see a still photo of Ellen. I thought my still photo was supposed to come up, but it never does. And yeah, I can't find, I cannot find a setting. I go to video and it says, I can't use a virtual background because this is such an old vid, uh, camera um, setup. It, virtual background doesn't work. So where, where should I see? No, no. I can't use virtual. I'm, I'm, my no. computer is so old, it can't deal with the virtual well, my background. Picture is, mine is new and it still doesn't have the right kind of something, um, which is not the video card. Um, so Ellen, what do you do to get your photo there? I, I put it up when I was setting up my profile. I uploaded a picture. I, I uploaded a photo. I said, a lovely photo, and but how do you know, do it? It works for me sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't. When I'm on somebody else, some people's calls, I it's just my name that shows up. I don't understand it myself. You don't understand it, right. OK. I got a lovely photo of me with my peace rose, you know, made for in 1945 for peace. And I had one, and my husband took the photo, and we uploaded okay. it. And so, anyway. Cheryl, yes. if you click on the little arrow to the right of the of the video oh, icon, yes. the video, yes, yes, and um, video you go setting. to video settings, and yes. you click on profile, because it's got to be that. I see general. Audio. I don't see profile there. Oh, maybe I should go up. No. See, I don't see profile. The video se settings. The I see video. Well, where it, it, uh, did you go into the start video? With the little arrow next to that. Is that what you're talking about, Ellen? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm in video settings, but Make profile is not is no. not included in that. Really? I can go to advanced. And then there's a nowhere. Maybe you need an account. I have an account. But I came into this meeting using, you know, whoever's account. Well, yes. No, you come in clicking the link. I come in clicking the link, but it always knows it's me. Have you signed into your account? On that computer. That you're on the computer that you're on this meeting in? Um... Have I signed into that account ever or today? Um, that computer on the computer we're looking at you that on now. Um, I didn't I sign, sign in on, today. It always knows it's me. Yes, they know it's me. I mean, it's got her name. Got my name. Hmm. Okay. That's another issue. This this issue of registering. You, many, many webinars, I get an invitation which only says register for this webinar. Yes. So I hit the oh, register, then it fill, fills in my name, it knows my name and my email, and then I say register, and then some moderating person sitting in Arms Control Association apparently says, okay, let this lady join that meeting next week. Um, so is that, have you done that, Ellen? Have you ever registered? I've done that, I've done that. yeah. Um, okay. So, I mean, as a host, as a host, yes. you want I've set people- I've up meetings that require in. registration. I should be doing one on, on Monday, Tuesday. You, what do you mean as a host? You Thursday. don't register as a host, you- No, I've set up meetings that require registration. Right, right. Yes, but you, you're setting it up. Doesn't that make you the host? Yes. Well, uh, yes. By definition, right. Yes. So, yes. Uh, if, because we've not done that. For our webinars, Alan T, you know, we have these webinars on our disarm, uh, on the timeline, on a few, you know, we have one coming up in Wait. September. Technically, we never technically. register people. We never <laughs> register people. And I'm wondering whether, is that then you know? Yeah. Then you know who's coming, right? Because that's our problem. We never know who, who's coming or who was there. 
So we can't get in touch with them later and say- Unless, unless we them. ask them to do what I asked you to do tonight, which was to put your name into the chat box and your name shows up. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. the name is on when the you participant got... panel. You could just- yes. No, we can't can't save save it. It. you can't save that. We've tried. You can snap a screenshot. I mean, you've got to- well, if you'd have to snap, if you've got 70 people, as we have had on a webinar, yeah. you'd have to keep snapping snapshots as you, you'd have to scroll down and keep snapping. I, I, heard, heard, somebody ask, iffy too. I heard somebody ask uh, at the beginning of, of a, a call that everybody put their name in. And I think that's a great idea. Just put start, name in where? type it into the chat box. But you also need an email address. A name well, is, I mean, an, you, you, you can say if you want to give us your email, then put that in there too. But then that's there for everybody. So, but yeah. if for most of our call, most of our calls, we know who the people are. So, so if you do it by registration, you save the problem of getting Zoom bombed. Trolls don't really like to have to do that too much. I don't think now they've embedded this password business i don't think you get zoom bombed anymore every not, call maybe not every, so much every meeting is uh, password yeah. and I, I, did you need a I, password for this one did you need to put in the password no no, no because it, i think it's embedded it's embedded oh, in right. that link is what i am understand so if the zoom bombers have the link Yes, then they can come, but you, you hopefully only let people know by email who you want to come. Right. But you see, we're trying to get the general public to come to our webinars, right? So I'm sending out this information. Well, what we do is we tell them at, at six o'clock ET, go to this website on our timeline. And there's a webinar link there, and then they can join the webinar at six o'clock on the Sunday, for example. Uh, but then, then we have no idea who's coming and then they turn up and sometimes there's 30 people and sometimes there's 70. And I've sent that invitation to go to the timeline, you know, to my friends, to my book club. So are you recommending, are you recommending, Cheryl, that we add a registration for anything that isn't just in-house? I'm thinking now we understand you can't save the participants, not very, and that you either knowing who's been, uh, yes. Can we actually add it on, on the timeline? Um, I think, I think that we can, I don't know if it's on the timeline, but we might be able to set up uh, the, the zoom link. We might have to change the zoom link, but we might have to, we might be able to set up the Zoom link so that when they click on that link, it will take them into a registration and then they register right then and then they go into the into the call. I think that would be the best way because when you register ahead of time, I mean, you can yeah. provide that information, but um, then I, I know that I lose, <laughs> you know, I, I hate some of these things that like Eventbrite where they say that they're going to get back in touch with you 15 minutes ahead of time or something. And I just forget it's happening. You know, it's, it's nice to have the number to put into your calendar. So the way Zoom does it, if you, you will get a confirmation um, set to automatically approve everyone who registers rather than something where you're going to be checking out their membership. Right. right. Um, then they will get the confirmation with the link immediately. Right. And um, however, you, the host, can go into the account. Um, again, you know, logging, logging in on the website. Um, and you can see who was there. But at the meeting, you can see who's coming and you can resend the invitation, but you can only send it one page of participants at a time. Mm. So I think it'll show you something silly like eight participants. I'm looking right. for, for the thing I'm doing next week. And my iPad is just a piece of crap. Here, here we go. So coming <laughs> anyway. up. 
Um, and then you, you have to go to the next page and say, select all, send confirmation, resend confirmation. Next page, select the whole, resend confirmation. There's no way to select everybody. This is before the meeting. That's the thing they should hear about. Ellen, is this before the meeting? Yeah, so you can, you can, you can manually resend the, the invitation 15 minutes before, two uh -huh. days before, so as reminders. Yeah. I mean, I get, I get reminders. Right. I go to some Stanford University webinars and they will send me a 24 hours ahead and then one hour ahead. And I've had to register. That's what registration allows currently. And, and they have, you know, hundreds of people coming to their webinars on. I yeah, one. and technically we're, this is a meeting, what we have. I don't have, yeah. I don't have the, it's much more expensive to be able to do webinars. That's right. Well, but you explained their, earlier. Their, um, their whole setup is different. So they, the, the means, they're, they're anticipated to be larger numbers of people. Right. And the, um, um, the reminders might be you know, right. more automated than but, for me. But, but Ellen told us as host, she can uh, disappear everybody and mute everybody except the speaker. You can do that in, in a regular meeting, right? Yeah. As yes, a host. Yes. So then, it, then it looks like more like a webinar because all you can see is the host and the speaker. Well, and that's not, that's, yeah, yeah, you're not turning off their videos. Um, I'm not sure, can you? Yeah, yes, you can, yeah, 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 yeah. But so, their name will still be there. Well, that's fine. Right, right. right. You'll turn off their video, and it'll be like the crickets that just said "cricket Jane Doyle." So you can't get rid of the box. You can't get rid of the icon. Whereas in a webinar, the only people that show up are the presenters. Right. Now, as a so, as a uh, as a host, if you're recording um like a screen sh uh recording the program and there's a screen share and you don't want those people to show in the screen share um you can disappear everybody except the speaker and then that speaker like with Hideko Tamura Snyder she, she, there was just her little face That's there true. in the corner so it wasn't confusing right because I've noticed that um, that at, in some webinar or some of the meetings, when I leave people's video up there, and, oh, by the way, the names don't show up on the recording. You can see oh, them nice. while you're watching, but the names don't show up on the recording. So if okay. you disappear the video, then the name disappears too on the recording. Okay, so it's getting away, dark. Just here. a black box. Yeah, sorry. But I have to go water my vegetables before it gets really dark. So thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Yes. I'll see you on Sunday, and and Ellen, you've got e news to write. I've got e news to write, and I've got resource guides coming out. Did my you see ears. what I said today? You, Ellen.